Hello, welcome back to my channel. This vlog is going to be a casual Tuesday weekday day in my life. So I took these clips of this beautiful pink blossom on an apple tree in the morning just whilst my skincare was settling in. The sky was blue. It's a beautiful spring day. This pink blossom looks so pretty and then i just had a herbal tea it's a lemon and raspberry tea with rose petals so this is my outfit of the day just a really cute comfortable outfit i got these leggings from ego they are like the y2k style folded over flared leggings in a pale gray color a little bit expensive for like the quality but they're really cute and um, I'm only going to be using them for leisure, not for actually working out in, so they shouldn't get damaged or anything. These slippers are from an amusement park I went to a few years ago, really cute. Pale pink fur with, the, with butterflies on the soles. This sweater I got from Amazon. I wear this all the time, it's so comfortable to wear. You can layer things under it and on top. I actually want this in pink as well. I did also quickly give myself like a DIY manicure. I just trimmed my nails and filed them and went over with this Barry M Pale Pink Sheer Nail Polish. It's always my go-to colors. I just really like the natural look. And then I put some of this hand cream on. This is so nice. I always keep this in my bag and it smells like a floral perfume. It smells really, really good. So, yeah. I feel a lot better now that I've done this. So, now I'm going to do my makeup of the day. Now that my skincare has settled in for about half an hour. I actually got this skin tint, it's, it's, it's one by Rimmel and I got it because like, my foundation doesn't match my skin that well when I haven't got fake tan on but the skin tint is too dark for me as well but it doesn't really matter because I can blend it in and with this concealer it does brighten it up anyway. I do like how dewy it is though, I do like the formula. I really wanted to try out the Ski and Sunburnt makeup look because I think it looks really nice. So I'm using the concealer that's perhaps like a little bit too bright but that's the vibe I'm going for anyway and I prefer how it looks. Now for cream bronzer, I used to never wear bronzer but I've been really enjoying using this, I've been using it every day, more so than contour. I used to always contour my face but preferred bronze now. This product gives a really nice sun-kissed glow. I also use it as a transition colour on the outer corners of my eyes and I kind of like brush it up so it kind of like lifts my face up a little bit. I apply a pink loose setting powder underneath my eyes just to brighten it a bit more and to prevent the concealer from creasing. And then for the rest of my head, especially where I put my bronzer, like on my forehead, uh, jawline and nose and around my mouth, I just use a translucent pressed pan powder by NYX. Now I do my eyebrows. I like to do my eyebrows really thin. I just like a cheap elf pencil in blonde. I am going to do a tutorial for you guys on my eyebrows. I apply powder contour over the top of my bronzer just to really set it. It's a random pan from a Tarte palette I got a few years ago but broke so I put it in that magnetic palette instead. From the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette I'm taking the white shade in Skull and pattern that on the inner corners of my eyes just to really brighten them. This is a random dark brown eyeliner by Beauty Bay. Just gonna put that on my upper waterline. And using a dark brown tart eyeshadow, I'm going to do a thin, smoky eyeliner. 
kind of going up a little bit to the side to give that foxy eye look. Now I'm just using a random mascara that I don't really like, so I'm not going to re recommend it. This is a eyeliner pencil by NYX in white. And I'm going to put some lip liner on. This is in new, uh, I can't remember the shade. It's by NYX. It's like a dark brown. And I like to smudge that out a little bit just to make it a little bit more natural. And then for lip gloss, I really like this Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk Lip Gloss. I like the shade. It's quite unique. It kind of looks white. But it is actually a very sparkly clear shade. This is the liquid blusher I'm using. It's like a pure red shade from MUA in the shade Watermelon. It's really good. I really wanted a true red shade just to give it that sunburn look. I didn't want like a raspberry shade. This is like really pigmented so I used it very sparingly and I kind of put it underneath my eyes kind of intentionally leaving it a little bit unblended because when you have skin goggle like sunburn you have that harsh line from where it's like from where the skin goggles end on your face and I love how blusher looks on my nose it looks so cute I need to put a little bit on my forehead as well but not too much highlighter I put on this really pretty sparkly pink Fenty Beauty highlighter in Water Brat and I just applied that where I put the liquid blusher in the end I decided to put some Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in the inner corners of my eye just to give it that little bit of sparkle and this is the finished makeup look I really like how it turned out this is kind of like turned into my everyday makeup routine gradually putting on more and more blusher for my lunch it's kind of like a late breakfast I've got some pancakes some American style pancakes which I love um, some Canadian maple syrup blueberries raspberries and a strawberry yeah breakfast is my favorite meal today so really looking forward to having this I'm just on yes start at the moment uh, just doing some retail therapy I'm just like thinking about getting some new skincare because I need a new oil cleanser and then I just found some other cute things that I like the look of like look how cute this top is like that's so cute it comes in all of these different colors I quite like the gray that with that skirt looks really cute um I know I, I like the pink one the best so I might go with that one but I'm also on Aliexpress looking at some new cushions I love cushions um don't know why I just like always on myself buying new cushions I like they come in all of these different colors but I quite like the light pink that one's nice it's kind of a bit like a natural look but I don't know, I'll either go for that one or there's this like really cute Hello Kitty one. You can get it in three different sizes, but I quite like the 60 centimeter one. Um, but that's like a little bit more. Um, but then there's also these ones that are really cool, like these animal print ones. I quite like the leopard one, I thought that's leopard print but I also like the zebra one as well, I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with um, that one's cool I also like oh yeah, that one's nice, I, like, I really like the zebra one, I'll probably go for that one actually probably go for the zebra one and then um, I don't know, I can see that one, but I can't see that one. Oh no, I don't think they have the other one. They've only got this one. I don't know, that looks nice as well. I don't know. 
probably go for the zebra one. And I'll make up my mind about that one. So yeah, hi. Put the boots on. And now we're going to go out for a little walk. What are you doing? Bambi's new blanket turned up. It's a personalised one I got off Amazon and I'm really happy with it. So it's got its full name there, Bambi Chew, uh, embroidered with this like really cute heart and paw. And uh, it's got this really cute pink ribbon, which I'm going to keep because I like to put them on like handbags or like um, tie my hair up with them or I don't know, just, I like to keep them and do something with them. I really like how the material is like curly, it looks really nice. And yeah, it's a really pretty pink colour. I think I'm going to put this in his travel carrier bag um just so it's his like special blanket just for that this is the other side it's got like satin around the outside and it's like this really soft fleece material i'm really really happy with it i have this really nice candle lit it's like it looks red but it's actually like a pale sandy colour in the scent vanilla cake. It smells so good. It smells like fresh vanilla cake batter. It smells really nice. It's like a small jar candle. It's like that big. I wish I'd gotten more of these though because it smells so good. But I'm sure I'll see more of these about on my travels. But yeah, loving this candle right now. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. Um, it like coming up to past 11 now and I am in bed watching one of my most favourite animes, a musical way and I'm just unwinding from the day and I've got a clay face mask on it's um this one it's um an Australian pink clay face mask with like um, rosemary plum extract, uh, witch hazel, aloe vera, and vitamins A, E, and C. I really like how this makes my skin feel. It feels so much more smoother and um, well rested. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick little vlog um just in between of what I was doing today I was just like doing some work online um but yeah that's like way too far and room for like this vlog so yeah I hope you enjoyed watching my day and we'll see each other again very very soon Thank you.